Welcome back to Community Lens, a community service production here of Somerville Media Center. I'm Erica Jones, the Director of Membership and Outreach, and also the Volunteer Coordinator at the Somerville Community Growing Center, which is what we will be talking about today with the ever-fabulous Miss Liza Kitchell. Hello, Erica. Hello. So nice to see you today. <laughs> and uh, Liza is a board member with the Friends of the Community Growing Center, and they do a lot of awesome behind-the-scenes stuff and making sure that the space runs smoothly and uh, that we try to get the word out about what all is going on at the Somerville Community Growing Center. So let's mm -hmm. chat a little bit about yeah. what is the Somerville Community Growing Center? Well, it's a city-owned space. Mm -hmm. It's actually owned by the city, but it's run entirely by volunteers. Right. Yeah. 99, like 99.9 percent .9 exactly <laughs> right and i don't know what the point one percent is doing that's probably the garden cat <laughs> there you go. right joey which Who's, if you don't yes. know you yes will meet. you will be joey <laughs> right and in case you don't know we're next to nunciato field and the dog park too mm -hmm. we're at 22 vinyl ab just down from the library and the high school so very centrally located and in a very important space because yes. um as more and more you know Developments happening in Somerville is right. a hot spot. It which is established four square or uh, four square miles, eighty thousand people. Yes, um, the need for open and green space is critical. It's ever ever more important, and it's a green space that's for everyone. Mm -hmm. We maintain it, but it's really for everyone for the city. All you have to do is take an orientation, and then you can use the space anytime you want. But I have to note that it is unfortunately locked by a gate. This is true because right. of the pond that exists in inside inside which right. is a liability. Right. But the thing is that's why we program lots of events at the growing center because it's open during events mm -hmm. and also Saturday mornings and things mm -hmm. like that. And we have some great events coming up in October. Good segue. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so let's talk about um, starting right. with Harvest Fest. Right. Annual Harvest gathering. Fest, right. Harvest Fest kind of closes the whole um, growing season and 23rd um, it's the 23rd one I believe it's the 23rd yes. one right yep. yeah the growing center has been going for 23 years and so the it's Harvest Fest is taking place um, this coming Sunday kind of during the middle of Honk Festival if you can take a, get steal a few hours away mm -hmm. from Honk yeah. it's on Sunday from 2 30 to 4 30 mm -hmm. p.m. Yep. and it's going to have children's games, it's going to have music, mm -hmm. um, autumn m music, a cider demonstration if you've ever wanted to know how to make apple cider. We awesome. have an amazing press so you yes. can make your own cider and then sample it too, maybe take it's some divine. home. It's divine. It's <laughs> totally. divine. Uh, but the best thing of all is this year we have something new. We're going to have a guest um, food artist, Game Foodie, who's going to be showing us how to do pickle, all the wonderful things you grew this summer. Yes! <laughs> Who is this fantastic so pickle it's person? It's a sauerkraut demo, uh -huh. and uh, Sharon Spivak is a dear friend of mine, and um, is, you know, has been, um, I wouldn't say commissioned, but she's been invited to different places like the Boston Public Market to help lend a hand in doing some demonstrations mm -hmm. around uh, the, the easy nature and demystifying the, the mm -hmm. intimidation of pickling, of, of, you know, making sauerkraut, essentially. Right. So, um, Red Fire Farm will be donating some cabbage. Oh, nice. Um, and uh, we encourage people to bring your own mason jars. And mm. uh, Sharon will be, um, you know, sharing. <laughs> Sharon will be sharing, sharing her enthusiasm right. <laughs> as, a, uh, as a sauerkraut uh, Fantastic. person. <laughs> wow. And, uh, and uh, lately, kind of in food health news, I know pickling, mm -hmm. the eating pickled food is really oh, healthy. Probiotics. Probiotics, exactly. Yeah. Yes, yeah. they got to get into pickling. Awesome. So yeah. that's this Sunday, Harvest Fest, 2 30 to 4 Right, exactly. A lot going on. Um, very and then just family friendly, of course, as always. Yeah, always, is. yeah. Um, two days after that, we um, are having a flatbread pizza, flatbread pizza fundraiser, right? Which is right. one of the best pizza places, I think, in. Somerville, they source totally. a lot of things yeah. locally. They really focus mm -hmm. on organic and um, you know seasonal um, products as well. Which is yeah, really 
So I guess a percentage of the money they take in bowling, mm -hmm. you can even bowl and we'll get some money. And, bowling. Uh, take, take out, out to yep. eat in everything. So that's at Flatbread Pizza, which is in Davis Square on Day Street. And that starts at 4.30 and goes all the way till 9.30. Um, and props to Liza yeah. for organizing them. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> and to so Erica modest. for setting it up. <laughs> <She's so modest. laughs> and what better way than to potentially bowl and eat pizza and right. support one yeah. of the most awesome uh, green spaces in Somerville? Yeah. So. And sometimes people say, you know, is this like a community garden? Right. It is a community garden, but mm -hmm. it's not like everybody has their own plot exactly. and grows their own food it's we say that we grow community at mm -hmm. the community growing center yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah so so we have a lot of things that have to do with plant and soil and learning about uh, playing that way but we also have a lot of cultural events um, family events kid events movie nights yes. yep. drama mm -hmm. yeah theater yeah, theater yoga. yoga eccentrics yeah right um, the full moon labyrinth mm -hmm. walk so we have our wellness and spirituality side too right yeah a yeah lot of many really faceted a, a good breadth of programming and by coming to the flatbread pizza mm -hmm. fundraiser you're going to help to continue to continue to support these types of events so. right yeah um, and then w there's one other one that's coming up and that is the benefit yard sale we have a yard sale coming up what a great place to have a yard mm -hmm. sale in a true. huge yard because <laughs> right. yes. we it's can a get a lot yard. of stuff <laughs> in there and I tell you I just cleaned out my attic are you going to so you're be oh yeah I'll, yeah I'll be helping out there right yeah so big yard sale that is Saturday, October 14th. Come on down. If you haven't gotten your stuff yet for your Halloween costume, I know I went oh. through my old Halloween costume box and yeah. got a lot of cool stuff, some nice long satin gloves, jewelry, masks. Get creative you know. with your Halloween Get costume. Get creative. Come, yeah, to you mind sale. <laughs> Come to the yard sale. And I think if you want to drop off stuff, mm -hmm. if you want to clean out your attic and feel right. good too. Right. Um, you can drop it off I think Wednesday afternoon starting okay. 3 30 when Red Farm has their CSA pickup right. and also the morning of the yard sale between 8 30 and 9 15 and then the yard sale starts at 10 and goes till 4. All right and again yeah, all full these day. efforts help support the growing center. The growing center right. So yeah. We appreciate Which, all the help and <laughs> support yeah. and what people can provide. And you know, I have to say, October, the month of October closes with an absolutely fabulous event. Yes. One of my favorites to close Do off share. our our season. Yeah. So on Tuesday, October 31st, which just happens to be Halloween, at five o'clock. Um, there is a group of singers who do um, pumpkin carols, cool. and you really have to just attend it to experience right, it. Right, right, it's, yeah. It's really fascinating. I did not right. know what to expect the first time I went, but yeah. it's wonderful. It's really wonderful. It's I didn't either. It's very engaging. Yeah, and then the whole event is ended by anti-Morris dancing, and where the traditional fictional Morris dancers fade silently into the night upon conclusion of the dance. Mm. And they do the whole thing silently and backwards. Ooh. And it's just really wonderful theater. Very meditative. Yeah, it is very meditative awesome. and a nice way to end our outdoor season and you know, signal a time for us then to go more inward. Yeah, yeah right. And, right. And, and they've been doing this for Long time. Very long time. They're my so. neighbors. I know on oh, Oxford great. Street. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, that. they've been doing it a long time. Yeah. Awesome. So. Jam packed. Um, all the information is on the screen. Um, the GrowingCenter.org is a website that you can always visit, which has the calendar and highlights of some of these events. Thank you, Miss Liza. You're Kitchen. welcome, Erica. And, and we'll see you all there at the Growing Center. Yay! <laughs> see bye. You there. bye, everyone. Yay! Yay! Woo!